Are three better than one? Does compression sound better in series? Compressors are often used in series or one after another, and the type of the compressor and their attack and release times can be chosen to each focus on a specific part of the sound. But does compression in stages actually sound any better than applying it all at once? Are three compressors in series smoother or better in any way to using just one? Let's find out. Learn audio engineering. Learn audio now. Sound strategies to sound goals. In this test, you'll get two choices. Both will have around 10 dB of gain reduction, one with a high ratio of 20 to one, and the other has the same amount of gain reduction spread across multiple compressors. Now it's worth noting that as I understand it, compression ratios multiply. If we want a ratio to total 20 to one across multiple compressors, we could use a four to one and a five to one ratio, or a two to one, a five to one, and then another two to one, or a four to one, a three to one, and a 1.7 to one, which will sort of get us there. And for some options that are limited, like the SSL, we could use a two to one, a four to one, and another two to one. Will several smaller ratios have the same effect as a larger ratio? Let's do a warm up to find out. Listen to the sound of my voice as we pan between these two examples. Do you hear anything unique between version A and version B? Are there any differences in the attack or the sustain of my words? Make note of any differences that you hear. And next, we're gonna try this comparison with a few more instruments. Next up, bass. So I noticed that A had a much smoother click sound and B was much more exaggerated, which kind of compromised the low end at times. A had a really nice balance between the attack and the sustain, resulting in a richer, more inviting low end. Now let's check out this experiment on some drums and percussion. Okay, so it sounds like the kick is a little bit more solid in B, A gets a little bit choked. It sounds like the attack could have been set differently throughout the chain. So you can play with the attack and the release of each compressor to shape each individual element of the drums. If you wanna learn more about the compression envelope, you can check out this video, but hey, after this one, you're taking a test, no cheating. Next is a singer songwriter example. I recorded a guitar and a vocal mic and did the processing separately on each channel. Girl, she long and tall sleeps in the kitchen with her feet in the hall. When she talks, she's lightning fast. Bartender, please fill my glass. She don't mind if she walk that straight. I gotta keep moving on today. So B sounds much more dynamic and open. A sounds like it has a fast attack. In this example, we can really hear the compressor coming down on those transients, gluing everything together and keeping it dull, dark, and solid. Whereas B has more room to stretch. The louder guitar strums and the vocal phrases still actually jump out at times. Okay, up next we've got another drum set example.
So B sounds more natural and punchy, where A has this darker sort of chalky sound to it. So those transients can remain clear even when processed across multiple compressors, as long as you preserve them with a slower attack. So A sounds absolutely pinned. There's some reverb and it's more noticeable on the A version, but maybe it's just brighter, but the sustain is held in place over the three stages of compression. B does a pretty good job of keeping the dry sound of the instrument in place, but it doesn't catch as much as that room in my opinion. Okay, this one is difficult. The guitar amp has a bit of grit to it, so the signal is actually already compressed. And for this reason, I added some effects so that we have a little bit of depth to squash. And I wanna know your thoughts in the comments. I wanna give a big thank you to my first Patreon, Leonardo Caruso. If you want early access to these videos and bonus content, you can support the channel over on Patreon. So how'd you do? Were you able to hear a difference? Did some of the instruments make it easier to hear than others? I'd love to hear your thoughts below and your ideas for future videos. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.